So what do you enjoy about going to a hairdresser? Um, I enjoy the advice, professional advice and the luxury treatment. The washing of the hair because it's like it's a massage of the scalp. I enjoy the whole process of it, getting my hair done, being pampered, having a little head massage, chilling out. Mainly the head massage. I know nearly full of sleep in there so I really like that. The head massage the most I think. They're really nice and like they like welcome you like they offer you like cups of tea the head massages um the feeling when you get your hair done feels a lot softer they're very open with you and they know they they try to know what you're after they they try their best to um communicate with you and work things out with you meet a middle ground on what you actually want what would you say you don't enjoy about going to a hairdresser they cut too much off <laughs> it gets a bit too short yeah, i have that problem that's right yeah <laughs> it happens all the time too much talking probably hairdressers talking about themselves and I suppose um, if it's really expensive. Sometimes it seems like the hairdresser doesn't quite know what I want, doesn't always listen to me, and that can be a little bit frustrating. You're kind of sat there cringing a little bit while it's being done, if it's a bad hairdresser. The cost. They don't tend to recommend a lot of the things that I have to do with my hair. I don't like know really what shampoos and conditioners to use or treatments for when I do, because I straighten them a lot. So I don't really know much about that sort of thing. Probably leaving the house. Um. Um, um, yeah, how much it costs? <laughs> um, sometimes when they cut it too short or cut it layers too short or something like that. So they don't listen to what you'd like? Um, mine regularly do, but when I go to somewhere different or something, sometimes I don't know what I like, so sometimes they do, yeah. Sometimes they trim a little bit too much off the ends. It takes a long time. Uh, silence. I don't like sitting there in silence. So would you buy your product through the salon? Um, I would. They do have a lot of things on display, but I don't tend to do. They don't, they don't discuss, discuss them with me, so I tend to just go to Woolworths. Okay, and then if they did discuss it with you, do you think you'd probably buy your products from there? Probably, yeah. Um, probably somewhere like Price Attack, a chemist, or a supermarket. Yeah. Why wouldn't you buy from a, a salon? Um, I suppose I've never thought to. I've never really been advised to. Just a supermarket. <laughs> would you buy your product if they recommended the right one for you at the time? Yes. Would. Yeah, just they never really give me the opportunity to, to do that. Uh, I'd rather product from a supermarket or any other convenience store that has the product that I normally use within it. When I asked my hairdresser what he'd recommend, and he had uh, shampoo in the shop and he gave me one. Yeah. Do you normally get recommendations from your hairdresser? No, no, he doesn't do that, even though he sells it, but he doesn't recommend. I think I could do with more information about what shampoo is good for my hair. I, I would appreciate that. Even It doesn't necessarily have to be one that he has there, but just the products that are good for my hair, okay. because it's like a long search for that. Because I don't know which ones to buy. Um, they've not been recommended to me, so I'm not sure what would be best for my hair type and colour. Um. Um, they're really... Um, um, I do, yeah, they don't, they're not too pushy though about buying it from the store, but they do give me recommendations for my work. Do you buy your product through a hairdresser? Um, yeah, they advise me on what to use, yeah. yeah thank you. <laughs> thank you.